Good morning, it's James. I do hope and pray this message finds you and your loved ones peaceful, thriving well. I'm grateful to see you this morning. Thank you for your time and thank you for your energy. I wanna share a quick story with you and then share a quick little antidote from the Stoic philosophers today about what I think so many of us are probably wrestling with, um, having conflict with, and looking for a really good possible solution to what's happening in our world right now. You know, for many spiritual people, there's an option sometime in their path of spirituality where they think long and hard about potentially kind of pulling out of society and going into more of a monastic type of life. And back in my early 20s, mid 20s, when I was spending a lot of time in India and Nepal, Kathmandu, doing a lot of meditation work and then subsequently moving on to a spiritual community in upstate New York, uh, a lot of my life was dedicating to a very ascetic type of life. Uh, lots of alone time, lots of Vipassana work, silence, retreats, long meditations, um, where I didn't see a soul. And I remember in particular a time when I was coming out of a long Datun, which is a 30-day silent retreat, and I said to the meditation teacher, I think, I think this is what I would like to do the rest of my life. And I think I'd like to just kind of pull away from society and really dedicate myself to being a monk and really give myself permission to pursue that path. And he said, I think you're wrong. I think you, you need to move back into society with all of your heart and courageously be who you came here to be. And I remember feeling at one time kind of going, what do you mean? Uh, this lifestyle of a monk, uh, going into meditation, being a silent person felt so right. And I believe it is right for a lot of people and a lot of amazing human beings have spent time in that and presently are doing that kind of work. But my teacher said, that's not your work. Your work is out in the world. I see it and I want you to be out in the world. There's um, a really cool quote from Marcus Aurelius when he talked about how being out in the world is a necessity for many people. He said that it is said that if you would have peace of mind, busy yourself with very little you wouldn't be better at staying away from things, but giving yourself permission to be involved in the right things, the things that matter and give you meaning. Um, Ryan Holiday went on to say that Stoics were not monks. They didn't retreat in the sanctuary of monastery or a temple. They were not silent and they did not pull away. They were politicians and businessmen and soldiers and artists and people who practiced their philosophy amid the busyness of life. They were fully integrated in life. The key to accomplishing this is not to ruthlessly expunge the inessentials from our life. What vanity obligates us to do that? What we need to be doing is to give ourselves permission to have discipline and discipline to only add to our plate what is essential. What a lack of courage prevents us from saying no to. And all we must do ultimately is to learn to cut away and cut away more, all that does not matter, all that is not essential, and all that does not give us meaning. But give yourself full permission to give yourself meaning to what matters and can elevate the world around us. And I think that's kind of where a lot of us are at these days, wondering how much do we pull away from society because it's hard to be in the world right now as a spiritual person, or is it the real work of being a spiritual person to fully give yourself to what's happening in the world. Be a beneficial presence, be courageously present for what's happening and be an example or a demonstration of peace, not of silence. And I think the beauty in that is that we give ourselves the permission to live our world from the inside and have it be demonstrated and expressed on the outside. And I think in that experience, I've learned over the last 40 years since I've been somewhat partially monastic and definitely out in the world. Um, that dynamic tension really comes down to being more and more clear of where my desire not to demonstrate in drama is. I don't want to demonstrate in drama. I want to demonstrate in Dharma. Dharma is more about my purpose, my passion, my meaning, my icky guy, my reason to get up in the morning and not investing and putting my energy into the drama. That is there if we want to go and find it. It is ever present, it feels, these days. But bringing our dharma, oh my goodness, that is the essence of full presence. And I think what many of us, if not all of us, because I do believe all of us are spiritual, and all of us could bring that to the world right now. 
and create a very beautiful sanctuary that's full of life, full of life. Thank you. Have a beautiful day. Much love and every blessing. All the best. Bye for now.